Welcome to Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker here at the New York Stock Exchange bringing you a review of this week's stock market. We're in the middle of earnings season and so far it's been pretty good. About 76% of companies reporting results have exceeded analyst estimates for profits and 66% have exceeded sales projections. On Monday, the pending existing home sales index for June was released, declining 1.1% to 102.7, a bit disappointing. On Tuesday, talk of increasing sanctions against Russia took a toll on the market, keeping the Dow Industrials below 17,000. Also released was the Case-Shiller Home Price Index, actually declining by 0.3% for May and welcomed by analysts who think prices need to fall lower in order to increase sales. Consumer confidence for July surged to 90.9, up over 5% from the previous month and much higher than expected. On Wednesday, the second quarter GDP was released and it surprised many, showing an annual growth of 4% up from the first quarter's 2.1% decline. Inventory growth was the major reason for these strong results. The ADP employment growth report for July came in lower than expected at 218,000 jobs, compared to the previous month's 281,000. The Federal Reserve also concluded a two-day meeting agreeing to cut their bond purchases by $10 billion to $25 billion monthly. Once again, the Fed reiterated that due to the weak job market, interest rates will remain low for quite some time. On Thursday, a report called the Employment Cost Index showed labor costs rose 0.7% in the second quarter, and it was the largest jump in over five years. That raised concerns of inflation. Argentina also missed a deadline to pay $539 million in interest and was declared in default. This was enough to prompt a big sell-off, with the Dow Industrials falling over 300 points, or almost 2%. On Friday, non-farm payrolls for July were 209000 slightly lower than expected, and the unemployment rate rose one-tenth of a percent to 6.2%. Personal income for June rose 0.4%, and consumer spending also rose 0.4%. Markets didn't move much on the news. Now let's take a look at some stocks. Twitter shot up Wednesday after the social media company released their better-than-expected second quarter earnings. The company reported a net loss of $42 million, or $0.24 cents a share, on revenue of $312 million. Twitter's user base increased by approximately 16 million, and this eased investors' concerns that the company wouldn't be able to compete with other social media companies. Following Apple's $3 billion acquisition of Beats Electronics, it was announced that Apple will be laying off approximately 200 of Beats employees. Most affected will be personnel in finance and human resources. Beats currently employs approximately 700 people. Exxon Mobil Corporation shares were down Thursday after the U.S.'s largest oil and gas company released earnings showing net income of $8.8 billion, increasing 28% year-over-year. Revenue increased 5% to $11.7 billion. Despite the good news, the stock price felt pressure after it was revealed that Exxon experienced another decrease in global oil production. This is Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.